Hi, I'm Dr. Hansa Bhargava, and I'm a medical editor at Medscape and WebMD. Let's talk about meditation. Those who practice yoga and meditation say it calms the mind, but research is now proving that it does much more. A pilot study conducted through UCLA, Australia's University of Adelaide, and the Alzheimer's Research and Prevention Foundation showed it can be particularly effective in older adults who may be experiencing problems with their memory. The researchers looked at a small group of participants, 67 years of age and older, all of whom had mild cognitive impairment. It compared the simple yoga and meditation to memory enhancement training, or MET, to see the impact on memory. The 12-week trial included 14 people who meditated and practiced yoga, along with 11 participants undergoing MET. The two groups were compared on all demographic and clinical measures. Functional MRIs were conducted on all of the participants to analyze brain activity prior to and after the training exercises. Final testing showed significant correlations between connectivity and long-term declarative memory for both groups. But in those meditating, researchers also observed improved visual, spatial, and verbal memory and lower depression rates. Scans confirmed this and showed improved verbal memory performance correlated with increased connectivity in different areas of the brain. This was the first study to examine and compare neural connectivity and memory associated with a yoga and meditation intervention and MET among a group of elderly individuals with mild cognitive impairment. So, it seems that meditation affects cognition. Could there be other health effects? Actually, yes. Lowering blood pressure is also where meditation is proving beneficial. While the American Heart Association has stated transcendental meditation works to lower blood pressure, studies conducted at Lanza University in China bear evidence to the fact. Looking at 996 participants in 12 separate studies, transcendental meditation groups were found to have an approximate reduction of systolic blood pressure by 4.26 millimeters of mercury compared with control groups. Diastolic blood pressure was also lowered. Subgroup analysis suggested that TM had a greater effect on systolic blood pressure among older participants, those with higher initial blood pressure levels, and women. In terms of diastolic blood pressure, it appears that TM might be more efficient in a short-term intervention and with individuals experiencing higher blood pressure levels. Focusing one's mind in meditation appears to have a broad range of other benefits in general. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have shown that TM can also reduce inflammation and therefore overall health. This study was done in relatively younger people. 35 stressed, unemployed, job-seeking adults were put through either three days of intensive residential mindfulness meditation or three days of relaxation training. Brain scans revealed that meditation increased functional connectivity between the default mode network and the executive attention network. Relaxation training did not have the same beneficial effect. Blood samples verify the difference in the two methods by showing that participants who underwent the mindfulness training had lower levels of the biomarker interleukin-6 compared to those who participated in the relaxation therapy. The researchers concluded that the mindfulness program seemed to help the brain function better through increased connectivity, allowing the brain to manage stress and therefore reduce levels of inflammation. We know chronic inflammation has been linked to a host of health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, cancer, depression, and Alzheimer's disease. Using meditation and mindfulness as a control mechanism could be another tool to help our patients improve overall mental, emotional, and physical health, and may have a longer-lasting impact on your patients than even simply relaxing.